body style, eight sets each. So this is our 15 minute ab workout this morning. All right, let's hit it. Full sit-ups with a punch. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight sets. I'll be using my weights. And remember, you can always put them down at any time as well. Get ready when you hear the bell. Here we go. Bring it up, punch. Core is tight. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. Tummy is nice and tight. So tuck the belly button in. Good. And that's 10 seconds of rest. We're doing eight sets. Eight rounds, I should say. So number two is coming up. Get ready. 10 seconds goes by fast. Those of you that did day one workout with me, you should already know the drill for Tabata. Core is tight. Two down. Doing good. And yes, your legs can be bent. You can also do them straight legged. Whatever feels good for you. Get ready. Here's number three. So you're really twisting. So you're working the obliques. Breathe. Almost there. Nice. Three down, everyone. Three down. I see some hearts, whoever that is. Glad you're joining. Get ready. Here we go. Set number four. Breathe through it. Remember, don't come all the way up. Keep the tension on the core. Side to side. You're working the shoulders too, if you're doing the weights. Four down, everyone, you're halfway there. Four down, four to go. Whoops. Okay, get ready. Number five, coming up. Breathe. So scoop that lower belly in like you wanted to touch your spine. Tummy is tight. Four seconds. And stop. Good, you should be starting to feel the burn. Five down, we have three to go. You got this, get ready. Remember, weights are always optional. So you can do these without your weights as well. Breathe out on your way up, breathe in on your way down. And stop. Woo! Six down, two more to go. With or without weights, tummy is tight. I'll show you without weights. That's all you do. It still works. Keep it going. Five seconds. Core is tight. And stop. Good. If my counting is correct, and it is, we have one more set. Here we go. Those of you that know me and take my classes know my counting isn't always correct. <laughs> which means we do more reps. Breathe, almost there. Woo, and stop. Nice, that was eight sets. Excellent job. Okay, you can place your weights to the side if you were using them. We're still flat on our backs. Now we're gonna do what's called ankle taps. So you're straight down on your back. Feet are planted. You're gonna bring shoulders off the ground. Reach, 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 reach. We're really getting the obliques here. So get ready. It is going to burn. The burn is so deep. Get ready, everyone. Shoulders off, reach, reach. You're just tapping the ankle 
but you're trying to get past the ankle. Keep your gaze to the ceiling. Breathe through it, inhale and exhale. Scoop that belly button in so it touches the floor. Woo, and down. One set down, seven more to go. And when I say scoop the belly in so it touches, visualize your belly button touching your spine. So you're really bringing it in. You're embracing the core. Shoulders off the ground here. Reach for those ankles. Breathe, breathe. So you're twisting that upper torso, but you're getting those obliques. And stop. Whew. Two down, everyone. We got this. Keep it going. Core, core. Keeping ourselves nice and tight. Shoulders off. Reach, reach, tap, tap. Tummy is tight. Keep it going. Six seconds left. Breathe. This is round three. You should be feeling this now. And down. Yes. So if at all your neck is bothering you, because I do have people tell me that, that's okay. For one set, you could do just, you know, have your fingers on your neck and still go side to side with the elbows. So you could do this as well. And just to give your neck a break, I get it. But you really wanna focus on that core. What we're doing sometimes is focusing more on the neck and everything else other than squeezing the core. When we have the core completely nice and tight, you're not gonna feel your neck as much. Round four. Good. And you want to find that right spot where your chin is down a bit, but it's still enough to where your shoulders are off the ground. Woo! Four down. Are you feeling this? I definitely am. I hope you are too. Round five coming up. Reach. Tummy is tight. You got this. We're almost there. Five seconds. Breathe. Set the belly in. And release. Good. I think that's five. Yes. Okay, here we go. Round six. Core is tight. So think. Scoop the belly in. And it's like you want to lower the belly button all the way to your spine. Get those shoulders off the ground. Rock side to side. Working the obliques. Woo! And you feel the burn right in the middle. So good. These always are a killer for me. I love them. So good. Remember, what doesn't challenge you doesn't change you. So keep going. If you need a little break, like I said, use your hands just to cradle your neck or your head, but still going side to side, taking the elbows down. You have five seconds. Good. I believe we have one more. I think we have two more. All right, get ready. See, my counting. Good thing there's a counter on my clock. Breathe. Good, you got this. Squeeze, squeeze. Yes. Good. Oh no, I think this is right. Talking to myself, sorry everybody. Breathe. Good, you're almost there. Two seconds. Stop. Yes. And that was it. Correct. <laughs> Woo. Very good. Okay, now we are going to do lower leg lifts lower leg lifts so your hands can be right underneath the glutes okay you could do this with or without a block so i do this movement a lot in butoga and i place the block the yoga block in between my feet take it down nice and slow and then bring it back up you could do that if you don't have the yoga block it's the same thing just the motion of the legs 
So we are going to do eight sets, but this time I'm going to switch it up a bit in between sets. So we're going to do one set of lower leg lifts, which is right here. And then our next set, we're going to keep our feet up and we're going to reach, reach, reach. Okay? So we're still working the obliques. I just changed my position here. Just want to make sure that we're good. I'm going to bring myself just a little bit closer to you all. Hope you are doing good. Hope you're enjoying this. All right, let's do this on your backs, either with or without the block between your feet, hands right underneath the glutes, squeeze those lower abs in and go. Take it down and up. And these are nice and controlled. Okay, so inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Little to no arch in your lower back. If this bothers your lower back at all, bend your knees and just go in and out. Breathe, so we're working on the lower core. Good, you could rest your legs for a few moments. Then we're going back up and we're gonna do toe touches. So feet back up, reach for the opposite toe. Reach, reach. Breathe out as you go up. And same thing here, you wanna get those shoulders off the ground. You're reaching as high up as you can to the opposite toe, getting those obliques again. Three, good, two down everyone. Now we're going back to lower leg lifts. So feet are back up with or without your yoga block. Core is tight, down and up, down and up. Those of you, if you would like, you could use, you could take the hips up just a tad. Okay, there's no yanking it up and down. So. Those of you who've been with me a while, go ahead and take those hips off the ground if you'd like to every time you come up. Good, and release. Back to opposite toe touches. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Feet back up, get ready, go. Breathe, reach, reach, reach for the toes. If you can go past, that's even better. The higher up you go, the more you're getting into all of our core area. Breathe. Two. And release. Woo! Four down. We are halfway there. Four more movements. So we're back to lower leg lifts with or without the block. Once again, down and up. Good. You got this. All core today, everyone. Breathe. But if you notice, you're going to feel the hip flexors as well working, the quads when you're doing these lower leg lifts. Focus on those lower abs, little to no arch in your lower back. Squeeze, good. And feet down just for a moment. We're back to toe touches. Legs are straight up with or without the block. And go. Reach. You got this. Core is tight. Reach up as high as you can. Breathe, tummy tight. Keep those legs as straight as possible and release. Woo! Two more sets. One lower leg lifts, one is with our toe touches. Get ready and go, lower leg lifts. Breathe, nice and controlled. This one is not a fast movement because you are really making sure that you're pulling up with the lower abs. So keep that lower back on the floor as much as possible. Breathe out on your way up. Inhale and exhale. Good. And then feet are down. One more set we're going to be doing. Toe touches. This is your last one. You can do it. Legs are up. Go. Try to go reach up even higher. Go past your foot. Breathe. Make the abs work. We got this. Keep it going, everyone. Breathe. You're almost there. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Woo! And release. If you have the block, take that down. And now stretch it on out. Don't worry, you're not going again. That was awesome. So take those arms straight out behind you. Legs straight out in front of you for a good stretch.